for a change there's some good news today regarding Twins injuries. Irvin Santana threw roughly 35 pitches to hitters Friday in Fort Myers, and among them was Jorge Polanco. That's a step forward for both missing Twins, given that they have been sidelined by finger injuries for longer than the team had hoped. Santana, still working his way back from February finger surgery, may be nearing the point where he can pitch minor league games and begin building his arm up for a return to Minnesota, which now appears inevitably after the All-Star break. He will throw again on Monday, and the Twins will evaluate his progress and make a decision then. Polanco's return is much closer and much more definitive, he must be placed on the Twins' 25-man and 40-man roster on July 2, when his 80-game steroid suspension expires, or go on the disabled list. But he caught the middle finger on his throwing hand in a car door nearly two weeks ago, and the finger subsequently became infected, forcing the Twins to abandon their plans to begin a minor league assignment last Sunday. We're just trying to make sure we get that finger right before he's done too much. Twins manager Paul Molitor said. Polunko was able to swing relative pain-free. There were a couple of times when he had to reach for pitches, and, he got a little irritation on that finger. Dot dot dot. We'll try to get him out at least to start DHing some games before he's ready to play defensively, that won't take place until next week at the earliest, however, which puts the Twins in a potential bind. They can use him in minor league games, but if they use him too much, how much is undefined, but figure it to be more than two or three games, they won't be able to claim he's unable to play, and thus able to go on the disabled list. But Polanco hasn't played, other than intra-squad games with Twins rookies, since spring training, so ideally the Twins would like to get him some work first. Paul Molitor hinted that the Twins may be willing to activate Polanco on schedule, even if he's not ready to play shortstop, just to put him in the lineup. We have 10 days to see how it unfolds, the manager said. One look at the Twins lineup tonight shows you how much they would like to get Polanco back. With Miguel Sano and Byron Buxton missing, and with Eduardo Escobar sidelined by a bruised elbow, he said he's got a little soreness but is otherwise fine, a day after being hit by a Rick Porcello fastball, and should be back in the lineup on Saturday, the Twins lineup lacks some firepower today. But Eddie Rosario is back, and says his sore shoulder is better. Here are the lineups for tonight's series opener against Texas, Rangers 2DH Andres SS Mazzara RF Belter 3B Odar 2B Gallo LF Torino C Guzman 1B Dashield CF Minor LHP Twins Mauer 1B Rosario LF Dozier 2B Grossman DH Adrianza SS Mater 3B Kepler RF La Mary CF Wilson C Romero RHP Lane Bell East. Neil 3 has covered baseball for the Star Tribune since 1998 the post knob block era. Born and raised in Chicago, he grew up following the White Sox and hating the Cubs. He attended both the University of Illinois and Illinois Chicago and began his baseball writing career at the Kansas City Star. He can be heard occasionally on KFAN Radio, lending his great baseball mind to Paul Allen and other hosts. Mark Rosen borrows him occasionally for WCCO-TV. Phil Miller covered three seasons of Twins baseball, but that was at a different ballpark for a different newspaper. Now Miller returns to the baseball beat after joining the Star Tribune as the Gopher football writer in 2010, and he won't miss the dingy dome for a minute. In addition to the Twins and Gophers, Miller covered the Utah Jazz and the NBA for six years at the Salt Lake Tribune. More from the Twins beat Eddie Rosario is back in a depleted Twins lineup as they open a series with Texas. The left fielder's throwing shoulder is sore, but the Twins don't believe the injury is serious. Bobby Grossman will play left field, the left fielder's throwing shoulder is sore, but the Twins don't believe the injury is serious. The Twins got a home run and a diving catch from Max Kepler, and a strong performance by the bullpen, to beat Boston on Wednesday. Now they look to sweep the Red Sox in the three-game series.
Nunez has not been the offensive spark the Red Sox hoped for as he's been on the mend from an injury suffered late last season.